Um, so one of the things that you mentioned was that you know, because you had been taught at the hospital to breastfeed this other way, you hadn't really mastered the natural positions. Um, so you had given it a try at home and, and found it to be challenging. But now, obviously, you're, you're doing really yeah. well with it. So uh, maybe you could share you know, what it was that was different about what you did at home and what you're doing here and you know, what, what adjustments you found to be helpful. Well, I was noticing that he was like, I know in the previous videos, um, Teresa said it, that it was like breast boxing. Uh -huh. Because he, it was, he was like fighting me on it. Uh -huh. And his he was kicking his feet and he uh -huh. was pushing against me and it was like he didn't want to. He was so hungry and he was getting so frustrated and I was getting frustrated. And I was trying to feed him and I couldn't. At the end, it wasn't that I, I wasn't leaning far enough back because uh -huh. when I was at home, I was still partially sitting up uh -huh. and holding him up. Uh -huh. But right now, I am not even holding him. He's just yeah. resting on me, uh -huh. and I think that was the problem. That was the problem. So with you that. you think the trick then was you just needed to move your hips forward a little bit more mm -hmm. and lean back a little more more and have more of gravity helping. Yeah. Because well, he was still struggling against gravity, even though you mm -hmm. were leaning back a little ways. Yeah. Mm. And in the other videos, um, some of the other women were smaller breasted than I was. Uh-huh. And they were sitting up a little bit higher. Yes. So when I was seeing those, I was like, oh, well, they're sitting up higher. Right. That's how I'm supposed to sit. Uh-huh. But being larger breasted, I needed to just lean my body back right. further. Right. And tweak how I'm made. Right. And tweak how he's made. <laughs> yes. To better suit us. Right. So, so it's like two pieces of a puzzle. You know, I think I mentioned that mm -hmm. to you before, where every mother has to find their own way. And in your case, your nipples are a little bit further down on your breast. So, mm -hmm. so having him straight up and down isn't necessarily going to be a practical mm -hmm. position for him. Um, and having you lean back a little bit more because your nipples are a little bit more on the, closer to the underside of your breast, mm -hmm. then that allows the gravity to help in a way yeah. that works for the two of you. So, you know, someone else might be able, I know we had a, a video of Janine with her baby Timothy and she was sitting in a wing chair and that worked really well. She just kind of flipped him over and put him on, but for you, mm -hmm. because of the way your breasts are made, that might not be a position that works as well for you. So yeah. everybody's got to find their own way, but there isn't just one right way that has to be for everyone. So natural breastfeeding, natural breastfeeding positions are the ones that we try and help moms get started. Right off with mm -hmm. when the baby has very little ability to control their head. And I know one of the things that um, you mentioned was by having looked is that you sort of understood you needed to lean back and put the baby on, but when you held Carlos like that, he was on you and touching you, mm -hmm. but if you had removed your arm, he would probably you have rolled away from you. Yeah. And so if you don't mind while he's here, so we can kind of demonstrate a few of the things that help moms know that the baby's really on there, one of the easiest tricks is to just spread their legs a little bit so they're a little bit like this. And we call that frog leg. And, and you had said something about the feet that you noticed he likes his, the support. Yeah. Whether he's in this position or... Oh, sorry to disappoint you. Never, <laughs> never, 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 when it's not broken, don't try and fix it. But, um, but sometimes when the baby, because he was actually quite well situated and yes. he was tummy down, but they can look like they're tummy down and not be tummy down. Right. And sometimes the easiest adjustment, if they're struggling around, uh -huh. is mm -hmm. to just lift up right in the little diaper area and spread their legs a little bit so that they're kind of plastered on you a little bit like a frog. Yeah. Because there's these little areas inside baby's knees on the tops of their feet, on the bottoms of their feet, the where pressure the pressure buttons yes. and on the front of their ribs, when those are activated, those pressure buttons, then the baby's able to open up and latch very deeply. Right. So I think that we kind of think about these things in the wrong way, although in natural breastfeeding we say, adjust your body, adjust your baby, adjust your breast, and we put breasts last, but in our mind, because it's breastfeeding, yeah. we still think breast first. So we think the baby is like, why is the baby going like this when it's right there? And you want to go, it's right there, it's right there. Mm -hmm. But your baby isn't looking for your breast, your baby's looking for your body. Mm -hmm. So it's that contact, when that contact is established, that's the thing that helps them be able to latch. Mm -hmm. So it isn't really finding the breast like it's a bottle. And right. that's where we get lost.